Why are we asking you if we should open up a kindergarten to grade 12 school to help students learn about YouTube in addition to the regular curriculums? And isn't that a change of focus? We're a YouTube network. What does that have to do with education? If we open up a school to teach people about YouTube while they are studying about math and science and biology and social studies, if we include assignments where you have to make a video as part of your homework, not just write a piece of paper, isn't that relevant to a YouTube network? We are training the next generation of YouTubers, if we do this, to use YouTube and be part of a global community. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that cool? Would you want your kids to go to such a school? Would you, if you're in school, want to come to here, the Philippines, to take your last few years in high school if we offer this type of curriculum? That's why I made the video yesterday, and if you missed it, click here, that eye will take you to yesterday's video. And I really want you to understand that we're not here to just do a ton of things. We're not like swimming in the money, so we're just throwing it left and right in random projects. Everything that I talk about on this The George Show unedited is meant to be a discussion to show how we are doing things that are connected and related to help everybody grow together as a family because that is the spirit of freedom. In the point of the school, we are thinking of creating a new way of teaching using YouTube to help math be more fun, to help social studies be more engaging, and we think YouTube is the key. And if we do do this, we're going to hire professional principals, teachers who are accredited and know how to teach an international curriculum. This won't be a curriculum in the Philippines. This will be like a Stanford curriculum or a Cambridge curriculum that is renowned for offering all the key points. But in addition, we're going to add YouTube into those lesson plans. That's our goal. That's the idea. Now that you understand a little more of the details, Tell me in the comments below if this is something you would support, if this is something you would attend or recommend people to attend. We read everything in yesterday's video, all the comments, and a lot of the criticisms were about lack of focus. I hope you understand that it is now in our focus to help the next generation of YouTubers learn about YouTube while they're studying. And you also criticized us about the features we haven't launched yet, like Freedom Points, like the Video CMS, and some of you have said even that uh, things we have launched, like Position Music, like uh, Fixed Music, like um, uh, Heartbeat, that's just not enough. So to answer those criticisms, I admit we've announced things that haven't come true yet, but we are working on these things. The reason they're delayed is because we discovered it's a harder problem to solve than we thought it would be. But we are growing our team of currently 20 developers to 100 developers this year so that we can solve all these problems in less time and bring all these tools to you. None of this is just forgotten. It's just taking longer than expected. I hope you can appreciate that what we are building for you to help you grow. And I hope you'll enjoy this entire journey as we go further down the road in this amazing year, 2015. We have so many things that are planned, like a school, like a music dashboard, like all the other things I've mentioned before. That's all going to come true this year, 2015. That's my promise to you. All right, guys, and who am I? I am George, founder and CEO of Freedom, and you've been watching The George Show Unedited. Till next time, be safe. Zai Jian.